Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. This is Junie's Plan with me. 2020 is almost halfway gone, and at this point, I finally bring my husband to our bullet journal community. So, in this video, I'll be setting up his semi-yearly buju spreads, and I hope you can get some ideas if you're switching to a new notebook or if you're also new to bullet journal. Now, let's get started. Even though there's only half year left, I still decided to go with this big 2020 as title on the first page. Here, I'm using the circle maker to draw the number two and zero as perfect as possible. I actually already did my own semi-yearly setup page, which I'll show you later, and I didn't do a good job on lettering, so I'm being extra careful here and decide not to trust my hands that much. As you may know, I used a lot of geometric alchemy elements in my dream bullet journal, and I'm still really obsessed with it. So here I'm going to continue this same style, drawing circles, stars, and some squares. It doesn't need too much work, and the only tool you need is a ruler. I'm also going to share a few different ways in later spreads. Then on the right side empty space, I write down July to December. Honestly, I think this notebook will last more than that, because as requested by my husband, this bullet journal setup will be very simple for every month. Not sure if it could be called minimalism, but I'll share the coming July spreads with you very soon. Let me know what you think. On the left page, I'm going to do a grid guide, a very important page that I forgot to draw from my first notebook, and I'm so regret. So step one is to count how many blocks there are horizontally and vertically. The one I'm using here is 24 by 40, which could be easily divided into half. After that, you can also split again to find the quarter points. Instead of using lines to divide the space, I decide to draw four short lines to represent each space. That also gives me a chance to leave one block between the others, which will be really helpful for future reference. Same method, I find one third points and then draw three short lines to represent. Then I draw a black circle at the end of each line and use white gel pen to write down the name. For more reference, like one six, which is not used very often, I decide not to draw here. But based on the one third line, it's really easy to find. If you like, you can also use different types of lines to represent, like solid, dashed, or dotted line. If it's still not clear enough, you may want to try different colors. Before we move on to the next page, I want to quickly share another way to draw the grid guide. This is my semi-yearly setup page, and here I use the most simple dividing method with different types lines to divide space into half, a third, and a quarter. It may look a little bit confusing, but as long as you can read it well, it should be good. These two ways I provide here are just samples, and you can make more adjustments to make it fit you better. Let's move on to the next spread. On the right side, I have the key page, but let me draw some decoration first. The main elements I choose here are circles. The circle doesn't have to be a full circle. Like here, I draw a three-fourth circle and make some lines and dots to break it, and also add some small pieces around. I also bring some elements in, like triangle and diamond shape, to make it more interesting. Another thing is to balance the overall by now using exactly the same size elements and not exactly the same distance. Now it's time to write down the keys. If you watched my 2020 yearly set video, you know that I have my customized version, but my husband prefers to use the original design from Rita Corral. So here I'm using a dot to represent task and also follow the original design for the rest keys. I'm showing you my version on the left side, and you can also adjust it to make it works better for you. Because there are six months left in 2020, I decided to put the calendar on the same page at the right edge, and a perfect fit. I black out the background and then write down each month's name with white gel pen. 
Considering my terrible number handwriting, here I'm going to use calendar stamps. But the stamps are designed with certain one days, so I also have to fix the extra day in September and November. Now we have this key and calendar page. On the left side, my husband wants me to put this quote here. It's a very long sentence, but how can I say no to my lovely client? It is from Automatic Habits by James Clear. The book talks about how to build good habits and break the bad ones. It provides a lot of good suggestions on habit building. Basically, the main idea is that instead of setting a far, far away goal, a well-functioned system is what you need. Oh, by the way, I didn't put index page in this notebook because he only uses it in a timeline base, so all I need is a bookmark. The next page is for future events. In order to have enough space for note later, I choose to make it really simple with no decoration. So after stamping the calendars, I'm adding in the first letter of each month with a gray Crayola super tape marker. I think I was too confident, so I decided not to use ruler, which I have to admit that it ends up pretty ugly. But yeah, I think my husband is okay with it. Let's move on to goal slash resolution page. 2020 has been halfway gone, so I think right now it's a good opportunity to refresh yourself and check how's it going. Do you still remember the goals and resolutions you set up at the beginning of this year? And are you still working towards that direction? Those are the questions I ask myself and I hope they will be helpful for you too. As for the geometric decoration on this page, I also add in some line shading which turns out better than expected, so I'll also add in the previous page which you'll see at the final flip through. And that's it for the goal spreads. I'll leave enough space for him to figure out however he wants to divide and use it. The next page, I'm doing a book list as requested. Again, on the left side, I'm adding in geometric elements, but this time I try something different. I'm not sure what I was thinking at that time, but right now, as I'm doing voiceover, I just can't stop thinking about the animation Sailor Moon because of the moon and star I draw on the top. Anyway, this is the last spread of the semi-yearly Buju setup because my client doesn't want too much other stuff. But here, I'd like to give you some ideas that you may want to add in your journal. Besides what I've shown in this video, you can also have year in pixel mood tracker, memory page, travel plan, movie or shows to watch, body tracker, money saving plan, skill learning process, period tracker, and so on. So basically, the things that are big enough or consistent enough to be considered within a year long time range, you can put it in here. Now let's keep going with the book list. For you who read a lot of books, it's probably better to do with a list or a chart. But here I'm just going to draw 9 boxes and each of them is 4 by 6. As you may notice, I accidentally leave uneven space, but that's okay, I don't think he'll find out unless I tell him. On the right side, I'm writing down another quote by James Clear. I think it's such a good sentence to read whenever you feel lost. You should be far more concerned with your current trajectory than with your current results. I'm sure you have those moments that you doubt yourself with current situation or results, but just remind yourself that the results are just temporary and what's important is the direction you're going and the path you're taking. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I introduced bullet journal to my husband who also thinks this is a great idea. So from now on, except my regular monthly plan with me video, I'll also be doing a really simple, just black and white version of bullet journal for him. I think this is a really good opportunity because I want to keep challenging myself on different drawing materials and techniques in my own bullet journal while I also want to share some easy stuff for you. So I'll release the minimum style July bullet journal video very soon and I can't wait to get your feedback on that. For this semi-yearly bullet journal setup, I really enjoy making all the spreads and I hope this video is helpful or inspiring for you. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. You can also find me on Patreon to get more bonus content and behind-scenes views. I'll leave the link in the description down below. 
I really appreciate all your support and love.